Fisher for a movie review. I haven't done one of these in probably like what since June or July. Okay, so here we go. Now that Halloween's starting to kick in, and we're gonna start getting all dressed up, and we're gonna start watching Halloween. We're gonna watch Nightmare on Elm Street. We're gonna watch Friday the Thirteenth. We're all gonna watch it on Halloween. But I'm gonna do a movie review of The Evil Dead from 1981. My actually, funny thing, my dad's first and last horror movie in theaters ever, ever. First and last horror movie ever. Um, this is a movie that it's rated NC-17. I will say it's not even R. It's NC-17, which is beyond crazy. Okay. But it was so gory. Like, there's like... Okay, let me, let me into the plot points. So, it starts... It's actually Bruce Campbell's debut as an actor. And he... I saw him recently at Comic-Con, as you know. And he, he looked great. But his first movie ever was The, the, the Evil Dead. Where a bunch of college students, where a brother, a sister, and his girlfriend, along with his, uh, his friend and his girlfriend, go into the woods, go into a cabin in the woods... And they just basically, ac really, they actually do. They accidentally unleash possessed, possessing, possessed eating demons who can go inside of you, basically, and infect your body and, like, live in you and cause you to become, like, in the evil dead of you. Um, this was a quick cult following right off the bat. I'm not, uh, now, this is a review. There will, there, there's going to be, like, um, I don't want to reveal anything if you haven't seen it, but go see it. Because it's actually Sam Raimi's first film. I think it's, it's Sam Raimi's first film ever, actually. Um, he actually... The way, the way it got a wide, wide release was this. He started he showed this movie to film festivals. And by showing it to film festivals, word of mouth got out. So, hey, this is really creepy horror movie coming out. And then eventually, theaters got into a point where they put it into a wide release. And that was... It was released in an October. I think it was released on my birthday in 1981, October 15th, 1981. Fact checker. Uh, the Evil Dead, 1981. Yeah, this. Yeah, it was. It was released on my birthday, October 15th, 1981. And this. Look, I. I'm telling you guys right now. If you're 15, 16. If you're looking for a Halloween, a Halloweenish horror movie that you want to watch that you haven't seen before for Halloween this year, watch The Evil Dead, okay? Because it's it's a, it's one of those movies where it has humor, but it's really dark. Like Ash slips on blood falling downstairs. Um, he doesn't get the chainsaw. That's Evil Dead Two. I'll do another review that review that later, review of that later in the month. Um, but it's just one of those. It's really creepy at some points. Really. But it's but it's so bloody, it's so cathartic. Where actually to the point where Scotty is what the actor, uh, the character, he actually chops up his girlfriend with an axe because she's possessed. You know, like and you actually the camera sh is shot, and it's on the the floor where she, her head is over there, her liver's over there, all like everywhere, and it's so bloody. It's a really good movie. I, I will say, it, for a. For a cult classic, it's a great film. I I love it personally, but some a lot of people like the, a lot of my friends they they like suspense, and I can't. I'm not a horror guy. Like I'm not really a horror guy, but this one actually really worked for me surprisingly because it's one of those bloodiest movies ever. I think in my and, and, uh, it, I'm not I'm not even kidding. It's one of the bloodiest movies ever made. Like ever made. It's like it's it's the gory. It my I think it's the goriest movie ever made. Like. Films today don't even come close to what it is today. Like, like you, you, you think like, oh, World War Z or three hundred? No, no, Evil Dead is like really like I'm telling you with it. Like, he takes the shot. Ash eventually takes the shotgun, right? And he blows his girlfriend's head off, and then he takes the shovel, starts chopping her off and shoveling her into the ground. It's so, it's so twisted. It's so creepy. But at the same time, it's, it's got Sam Raimi's touch of humor. It's so, it's so, it's, it's a weird movie, okay? But if you like horror, if you like, like, not like just substantial gore, but if you like horror, this is a great movie for you guys for Halloween, okay? I rec, per, me personally, I recommend it. But if, if you're not like, if you're like 15, if you're 15 or 14 or 15 or older, watch it. It, it's 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 humorous. It's childish at some point. 
It's like, you know what I mean? It's like not necessarily like a, it's a, just like watch it for what it is. If you've never seen The Evil Dead, 1981, not the remake, 1981's Evil Dead. It's creepy. It's weird. You can find it on, I think, uh, there's a, a you, someone uploaded the entire movie to YouTube, I think. You can find it. There's a little Evil Dead 81, whatever. Um, and tr fun fact, it was actually, they, they go to a cabin, right? No, not kidding. They actually filmed it in a real life abandoned cabin. And, and a lot of this movie, this movie actually really showed Sam Raimi's camera movements where, for where he established a lot of stuff in films. And Ash vs. Evil Dead actually took a cue from all that camera work. Like there's a scene where the, the camera, like, he's holding up like this and he's running. And it makes it look like there's something on the ground following you. It's really, it, it, at a filmmaking point of view, it's a really good film for filmmaking. With like the camera movements and going in and out. It's, it's really, it's an interesting overall. I give Evil Dead, I know this wasn't really a review of it, but I don't want to reveal it because it's a, it's a, it's a good movie. It, it, it's, a, it's a solid film. It's not like a great movie, but it's a good horror movie. It's really good. Uh, you have to watch it to understand it, though. So, um, so just so you guys know, it's a little, it's a little, it's like I said, it's very gory. So be prepared to to, to laugh. It's a lot of it's funny though. Um, so there's that. But if, if I could rate this, if I could rate Evil Dead, I'd get, I think I gave it a seven point five or an eight out of ten. Like it's a, it's not like the best, but it really it 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 it. it, it, it it comforts you for who, what it is, you know. It it feels like it's just like, it's a horror movie, but it's really like, it gets you. It, like, you you may not sleep at some points. I, like I, I I'm not a horror guy. I didn't really sleep well the first time I saw it. Um, just watch it for what it is. If you, but like I said, if you're looking for a great Halloween movie, go watch Evil Dead. I think you guys would really like it. Um, it's Sam Raimi's first film. The guy who did Spider Man one, two, and three. Uh, check it out. Oh, there's that. But look, for this movie review of The Evil Dead 1981, which you guys should go watch for Halloween, keep it locked on the Super Review Show. J-Man, off to work. Say hi to the King, baby.